Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will talk about, Motor Duty Cycle. Let's get started. What is Motor Duty Cycle? Duty Cycle means, electric motor operation sequence and intervals, including starting and braking, full load and no load working intervals. Each electric motor is operating a mechanical load. There are many types of loads. Some loads require 24 hours working. While other loads work for short periods. For example, an electric generator starter motor requires short periods working with high starting current. So, it's important to choose the proper motor duty cycle for the load. Choosing a motor with the wrong duty cycle will seriously affect the motor lifetime. Continuous duty cycle, S1, this is the most common motor duty cycle I have ever seen. It means that the motor can work continuously for long time. We always choose this type of motor duty cycle for almost all loads in my workplace. This is for nothing except that our loads types require S1 duty cycle motors. They are working day and night, all the time. Short time cycle, S2, this duty cycle is similar to S1. I mean, it's continuous too. But with short periods of time. The motor has rest periods, during the rest its temperature decreases to the ambient temperature. The S2 is followed by the motor working period number of minutes. For example, S245, is a motor duty cycle of 45 minutes. Intermittent duty, S3, this cycle contains rest time and constant loads. The motor temperature and the rest time doesn't reach the ambient temperature. An example of this type of duty cycle is conveyors of constant loads and constant periods of working time. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Continuous duty with braking, S7, this load cycle is continuous, includes constant load starting with braking. There is no rest time. In the description below, you will find my 100% free electrical Android apps. I will be happy if you install one of them. Thanks for watching.